Many of the advances of modern medicine have relied on the use of these antibiotics. They've made previously incurable illnesses like pneumonia and tuberculosis treatable, and over the years they've saved the lives of hundreds of millions of people. But now those advances are under threat. The reason? The drugs have stopped working. Often unregulated and overused, both in humans and in animals, more and more bacteria have become resistant to antibiotics, and drug companies have failed to come up with new drugs to replace them. Former Goldman Sachs economist Jim O'Neill has spent the last two years investigating the problem for the British government. The UK can do whatever it wants uh, to solve uh, the problem here in the UK and I'm pretty hopeful that the UK will think of some ideas of how to respond to our recommendations but because of the connectivity of the world and how people travel, how animals travel, unless the whole world does something we won't solve it as a problem including here in the UK. The report details 10 steps governments around the world can take to address the issue. These include reducing and restricting the use of antibiotics in animals, developing and using more vaccines as an alternative to antibiotics, and requiring doctors to do tests confirming that antibiotics are required before they're prescribed. The animal problem is massive. Uh, from the data we can see, and it's not perfect, in some parts of the, uh, the world it is clearly a bigger problem than in humans especially in the United States, probably also in China and India. So we need to have specific, dramatic uh, uh, changes taking place in the misuse in agriculture. The report also says public awareness needs to be raised on a global scale, especially in countries where there's little regulation around the use of antibiotics. It also suggests governments might consider taxing the use of antibiotics, both to raise funds for research and to discourage their use. Above all else, the report underlines that this is a global issue and one that can't be ignored by any country, because to do so, it says, would imperil the health and wealth of the entire world.